our guest today has zero social media footprint so you may have a hard time stalking him but mind you he is a genius who is really rare to find meet abhishek mitra being a walking dictionary nailing internship at microsoft getting placed at digite and now pursuing masters from university of southern california he is the most hard working guy who just claims to be lucky and today we'll talk about the entire recruitment process for microsoft and helpful tips and tricks to nail microsoft so let's begin when is it a good time to start preparing for microsoft i started preparing when i came to know ki microsoft ka campusing hota hai college mein which is about uh 6 months in advance when you enter third year it's a good time to start preparing for company recruitment process and interviews um it's a good thing to start doing competitive coding you need uh maybe 3 4 months to it i did it for one month which is bad i lucked out on my interview it could have affected me negatively and i would advise everyone to do some form of competitive if not competitive coding just take the questions and start doing them lead code uh at least 3 months in advance how did you prepare for data structures and algorithms for microsoft aha to ds algo i already knew because i'm from cs so i did that in second year and in the fourth semester of third year so i didn't have to study much and they don't ask you tough questions in ds algo like they'll give you a situation and they want to know what kind of algorithm you are going to come up with to solve that particular problem it's nothing too complex you don't need to study outside the syllabus you just know whatever your syllabus is the basics of it it's or go to geeksforgeeks.org and just uh, type data structures search for data structures and you'll find uh, similar 2022 articles on algorithms uh, read all of them and you cool okay what challenges did you face while preparing right uh, so i'm not a coding person not used to competitive coding at all so it's a very different format because it's time bound and every almost every tech company will have a recruit it doesn't matter how elegant your solution is it does matter because if it's elegant then you will be finishing in shorter time but the main objective is to finish and that is very different from idle code writing so again which is why i stress on competitive coding because for me it was a huge negative i was not used to it that's one challenge the other thing is when you start i would advise everyone to have their math skills up i got in my own interview i got two problems from combinatrix one problem on complex number addition and theory of complex numbers and theory of arithmetic and one problem on bayesian hall principle so just no basic number theory and no basic arithmetic and study combi because uh, i mean you just prepare class 12 maths but otherwise if you don't know class 12 maths you won't be able to solve the problems in the first round and it's going to affect your uh, chances to progress did you have any previous experience in software development or android development and are these some kind of topics that are actually helpful for the interview android development yeah i i did a android workshop thing in the very first year we were roped into it by the seniors if you remember that first event after i joined college and i actually won it i won that event with an india photo i've done a few other side projects on ember but it's not much it's not much um software development no software is not a one man process usually web development yeah little bit my both my projects both my mini projects and my project in web development were on building websites so i mentioned that in my cv and they quizzed me on it uh, what technologies do you know we are going to build this is this is the requirement for building a website how would you go about i don't think that development experience because they're going to be teaching you that stuff once you join anyway every company does they're going to spend money on training uh, it matters if your code is clean so i would say that uh, previous experience in development is in necessary per se i i had very minimal experience i'll be honest but uh, you just have to be able to write code yeah what skills would you advise a student to polish before the microsoft interview so first round is a technical coding round 
coding round. Uh, they give you like one hour, 45 minutes. You have to answer three to four problems, right? The second round is um, a, some kind of a round. They'll give you a presentation, PowerPoint presentation, who's my first problem driver. And they would ask you to write on paper your proposed solution, which we algorithm, data structure, whatever, to that problem. Uh, you get 30 to 45 minutes. For that. Third round onwards, it's technical and it's interview. So, I actually had just one interview round. Most people, I think everybody else had more than one, um, if I remember correctly. I might be wrong. But uh, I had, and then I had to wait eight hours, and then I went straight to HR. So, else to polish, I would say I lucked out with my interview. Um, I would say, first of all, that uh, make sure you do not lie on your CV. Because you have to defend your CV. That's the only thing you have to do. He's gonna, the people who are coming in there to test you, they, they have seen your CV and they will ask you questions. From the CV. If there's something you haven't listed and you're not comfortable, just tell them that. They'll not ask you questions. If, um, if you have written something on your CV which you have no experience, experience you're gonna be in trouble. So everything, that's listed on your CV as a skill, I would ask you to polish. Can you suggest some helpful courses or some resources for Microsoft? Sure, sure. Uh, the very first thing for coding, I'd suggest lead code. Um, I'll provide the links. And for if you are unaware, if you're not from CS or IT, I would suggest going articles at Geeks. Geeks. They have good examples. They have small examples. And Apart from that, uh, there are a Microsoft affiliate site called Plural Site. That is the name of the site. Not all of their courses are free. At least on the public site, if you're not a Microsoft employee, you can only view certain courses. And a lot of them are free. So if if you want strategy, maybe go through them. Uh, okay. So let's move on to the actual recruitment process. What, what was the number of rounds? Uh, can you tell us about each round and what is the eligibility criteria and what what kind of questions can everyone expect in each round? The number of rounds is it's four to five usually. Uh, it, this might depend. Like they're very whimsical with the entire recruitment process. It depends on the people. The coding round, I guess, happens for everyone. So. Let's first get that out of the way. You will have like one hour, 45 minutes, answer maybe three or four questions. Two of them are going to be medium to hard. One is going to be hard. One is going to be even harder. That's it. And uh, there's no such eligibility criteria that I know of from that round because I did every test case for one problem. I completed maybe 75% of the test cases for another problem, 50% for the third. So. There were people claimed to be much better uh, in a much better position for recruitment than I was, but they were not selected. So I'm not sure what the eligibility criteria is. They, sh they surely look at your form. The second round is a written round. Um, I don't know if this is for every college, but they had a presentation. This may You'll get a question. You'll get a problem statement, and they're gonna ask you what kind of uh, what kind of data structure or what kind of algorithm you're gonna come up with in order to solve that problem. You get uh, about thirty to forty-five minutes for writing, and uh, you have to finish writing on a piece of paper. And they're gonna judge you based on the kind of responses you get. The third round onwards, it's going to be technical interview, which means uh, they're going to look at your CV, they're going to quiz you, um, they're going to ask you about maths questions, they're going to ask you about coding questions, they're going to ask you about yourself. You're, you have to, your intro matters, I would say. The way you introduce yourself makes an impression on the very first guy who's interviewing you. So I would say prepare an introduction don't be flustered when people ask you questions that are a bit out of your expectation and the second if if they're not satisfied with the first round or if they feel like they need to evaluate you further uh, 
uh, they're going to take second or maybe third rounds, which are also technical interviews. And if you're selected, then the final round is the HR round. Um, the HR round is very harrowing. And most people think that if they have made it to the HR round, then they're going to get the job or internship or whatever it is. That it's a foregone conclusion, but it's not. Uh, in my own uh, in my own year, when we had, I think, eight people and two people got cut in the HR round. Ayush here has been reaching out to people and making great content. I appreciate his videos. I watch all of them. Then. And uh, he makes amazing content. He's passionate about it. And he has connections with people. I'm sure everything that's said on his channel will help you. So like, share, and subscribe.